back once again with the doggy picture hope you like it you can always change it if you don't I don't really care um guys i've been offered a job in the uk uh, so maybe going back home for a bit working there working home coming back home thailand is my home i've been here for years now a long long time and i consider this my home my wife's here my children my four dogs my house i sold everything in the uk many years ago to move to this beautiful country and enjoy this beautiful life so um difficult to admit same i had to get a police check i had to get a thai police check because i'm resident here and uh, yeah it turned out to be a little more, bit more difficult but in the end once i got i got it pretty quick and smoothly so here's how it what i did now i first of all i went on to thai visa and read up about how to get it and so on and how to go about doing it yourself going to get the forms going to get this going to get your fingerprints taken going to get that going to and i just thought fuck that I went, went online and found a company who do this for you, or partially do this for you, present it all, get your certificate, post it out to you and all this kind of stuff. Now this was quite easy. So I filled out the form, gave all my details, pilot driving license, passport number, everything that you, they, they asked for, sent it off to them. Great. Never heard anything for two, three days. Thought, well, what's going on? Gave them a ring. Oh, you need to get a fingerprints uh, form filled out and done. Your fingerprints taken. Okay. So I jollied off to Satahip Police Station, waited for an hour, see somebody, got sent to three different offices. As usual, complete jumble. They wouldn't do it. They just blankly refused to do it. I said, well, why, how do you do it when you've got a criminal in there? Please leave, basically. Horrible bastards. Anyway, I then decided we have to go to Bangkok to the place where you go, get the, the place they actually do the fingerprints and they actually do the forms and we'll get it done there. But on the way, I thought we'll call in a patio and have some lunch. Central Plaza is right next to the police station and I just basically said to my wife, why don't I just chance my arm and go in there? And she said, no, 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 Bangkok, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I did, I went in there and the lady says, go upstairs. Went upstairs, knocked on the door. I met the nicest police, I think, detective I've ever met in my life. He was courteous, kind and helpful. Sat me down, asked me if I wanted a coffee no thank you but did my fingerprints lose leave your hand loose and do it like this and do it like that stamped it all up speaking to my missus all the time lovely conversation talking about fucking whatever asking him if i was a crook probably and uh, it was a really nice decent guy who spoke re a good command of english and, and seemed to like his job i came out of there wanting to buy the fella a fucking car i felt so happy uh, you know, but my wife said, you know, don't even give him a tip in there, it's not right, and so on and so on. So I felt terrible about not giving the poor bloke a tip. Uh, and I think I will go back one day and give him some chocolate or something to tell that today, thank you. Because he was the nicest guy you'll ever meet in your life. So I got I came out of there with a whole new impression of the police and a whole new outlook on how helpful and how great they were. Anyway, sent the fingerprints forms into this company who did it for me. Uh, I think they're called Visa Resolution Centre. And they then processed that and sent it to the Bangkok police. Uh, I sent them an email. After on, I sent the forms on Thursday. On Monday, I sent them an email to ask how it was advancing. They said, it's now with the police, blah, blah, blah. The next morning, I got an email showing a copy of my certificate, saying it was all processed, all done, and no criminal record. Surprise, surprise. And I will get the certificate tomorrow morning. And I thought, yeah, okay. Tomorrow morning came, yesterday, 10 past nine, ring on the bell, and there's the postman with a, with a registered letter with a certificate enclosed. So all in all, it was a good and a, um, process to go through. It cost me 4,000 baht. I think actually if you're gonna do it yourself, you can get it done for about 100 baht. But I didn't need the fucking hassle, didn't need the worry. I'm going back to work, so I'll have the money to pay it, so it's all good. Getting a police criminal check, not as bad as you thought, guys. Well, not as bad as I thought.